Hello again internet, this is Cat Tiger here again and we are at the guide dogs table at the guide dogs and mobility expo. So I'm here with uh, Vicky from Guide Dogs Queensland and we're going to take a look at the Ultra Cane. Um, the mic's yours. Excellent. Well, the Ultra Cane is a sonar cane. So it's a cane that actually has two sonar. Cool, it's like a bat cane. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, exactly. So it sends out a signal and then it bounces right back to the device. Um, the way that I look at this cane is kind of three canes in one. So as you're moving your long cane on the ground, mm -hmm. there's a sensor that comes straight out from your waist okay. going out. So it's moving as well and scanning the environment. And then there's a sensor that goes straight up. So for tall people, especially any tree branches, oh, things like branches? that. Yeah, well, I don't have that problem being four foot nine. I don't hit tree branches. <laughs> um, so to me, it is definitely like three canes kind of moving through the environment. Um, the way that you know if something is coming towards you, there are two buttons that are above the sensors, um, and you put your thumb on those two buttons. Okay, so that would be like on the handle of the, yes, the, the absolutely, of the cane? absolutely, yeah. um, and they vibrate to correct respond to whichever sensor so if there's something waist high so say a rubbish bin is in mm -hmm. your way um, then the bottom sensor would vibrate to let you know that there's something in that in that vicinity um, the same with the top one the top sensor the top button will actually vibrate okay. you um, can actually you can actually differentiate um, yes between the two yes absolutely okay. um, it's kind of a, a big device, so it's not made for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. For me specifically, because I have small hands, mm -hmm. I wouldn't actually be able to use it very well. Um, I can barely get my hand around the grip and my finger, my thumb on the buttons. Um, and if I were to hit something, it actually would just pop straight out of my hand um, because I just don't have the big enough hands to mm -hmm. hold it. Um, it also can do two meters or four meters. So there's a switch on the very back of the cane and that switch actually changes it from two meters. Oh, you can you actually hear, it. hear it. Yeah, it's very loud. Um, and then four meters. So it's just the click of a button. And the closer sure. something is, is, is um, the quicker and louder it is. Yes, yes, well, actually. Yeah, the more absolutely. So as okay. the further away, it'll be kind of just intermittent pulses. And then mm -hmm. as you're walking closer to something, it'll get quiet. So put your finger on. You can feel oh, how violent. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. it really kind of starts to tickle after a while, I think. Yeah. Like you feel it through your whole yeah, arm. You get, I get that <laughs> yeah. just from using on the pavement too much. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I sort of yeah. go numb. Yeah, Oh, definitely. yeah, these buttons there, they're, they're really, wow. Yeah, they, okay. they're going. But, and yeah. that's why you can hear them because they are such big, um, bold buttons. You can actually, people can hear it as they're walking instead of feeling it. <laughs> um, what else would you like to know? Um, yeah, so it opens. that's... That's uh, what you guys would call probably more advanced mobility um, tool? Aid, yes, absolutely, tool aid. absolutely. So uh, for us specifically, the criteria to use something like this is to already have learned how to use a long cane. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of being a proficient cane user first mm -hmm. so that we're not teaching you how yeah. to use a long cane while we're teaching you how to use the device. Um, so yeah, once you're a proficient cane user, then anyone can come in um, and ask to try out an, an ultra cane. Okay, and what, what sort of tips do they put on the um, bottom of the cane, or is it? They all come with the big round balls. I'll is pass it, the it over to you. Yeah. Oh, yep, it's the jumbos. Yeah. yeah, so these are what all of these come with. Um, in saying that, we are currently looking at testing out other canes that are the same, that have the sonar, um, but based on the same models. technology. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay, so, interesting. Like to see that actually. One of the, the downfalls with this cane is it's quite heavy, so let me pass it to you. So you can feel it compared to your cane. Yeah. Well, and imagine just your wrist, you know, like just learning how to get used to it. So I find men really like this, and women tend to give it back. 
yeah. because I, I feel of like that. If I like went through the airport or something, yeah. I might get arrested or something. <laughs> yeah, have to uh, put it through the scanner separate. <laughs> yeah, so we are looking at alternatives to this um, because it's good, but it's also bad in some ways. So just trying to find what's mm -hmm. best for everyone, and maybe having two alternatives. Maybe this one we keep, but then we also have another one that's lighter and easier to use. Mm -hmm. So someone with arthritis could not use this because of the weight um, oh, and yeah, the way that course. you have to hold it and everything. Yeah. So, so yeah, so sure. need some alternatives that can suit everybody. Yeah, well, I always say no one size fits all, and yeah, to um, do a bit, a bit of homework and um, see what works for you. Yeah, absolutely. So that's been the Ultra K. Thanks very much, Vicky. Thanks yeah, for coming on the channel. Absolutely. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, and as always guys, thank you for watching and please hit that like button, that subscribe button, it would help me out a lot. As always, take care and peace out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time, smiley emoji.